The, the laundry industry does a good job of trying to avoid load count. You'll avoid note, what? Load count, load telling count. you how many loads you get into it. You'll notice the load counts are getting smaller and smaller and smaller on the package again. And um, so it makes comparison really, really difficult on price. And the second was, again, going back to this thing of to get people into a green product, like we, you know, we just try to make it selfish and get you to buy it for a selfish reason versus uh, for a reason for the greater good because we think that's more, more impactful. And what's and the selfish reason in this case? The convenience of it. So the fact that we've eliminated the messy cap, we've eliminated the big heavy jug, um, yep, it's one-handed. We are working on no-handed. We haven't gotten there yet, but we're, gonna, <laughs> we're you know, progress not perfection. Think your laundry clean. <laughs> and if you try to go through that challenge and said that um, try a brand you've never tried, um, try something that is you know a, a fraction of what you used to do, and then we're trying to tell you, oh, by the way, it's green, it becomes too much, which is why we focus on the technology. But again, we don't run from the green. We just don't make that the lead story. So one of the big challenges in the area of green marketing is, is that people talk a good game, consumers talk a good game, but they don't really want to change. Mm -hmm. you know, they want change to happen, but they don't necessarily. They like, you know, they like the noun, but they don't like the verb. Mm -hmm. right? and, and so you <coughs> managed to get them to embrace the verb here. What have you learned about consumers' willingness to come along on a journey that you think other companies, bigger CP, consumer product goods companies, should know? Uh, I'll give a simple answer. Consumers want better, not greener. And greener is part of better. And I mean, it's, it's, there's a lot that goes into that. In our category, we describe it in a lot of different attributes of our product. But at the end of the day, you've just got to create something better. And if greener is the only thing that makes it better, it's not enough. Yeah, and, and ironically, greener products often haven't been better. They either cost more hard to find, some of them didn't work, there are mm -hmm. brands you yep. don't know and trust, and so yeah. that's and, been a challenge. In technology, I'd say it was the second thing, is that um, I mean, we have a real core skill in green chemistry, and it allows us to do some really interesting things with the functionality of our products, and that technology is a real bridge for consumers in a reason to believe and also that it pays off when you use it. They, they see the results. And I think that that's something that's, for far too long, the whole green products category, not just the cleaning category, but at large, has been too focused on um, removing. It's been about the absence of negatives mm -hmm. rather than about, from the ground up, truly designing better product. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think everything should be green plus. So it should be green plus something else. So we're green plus design. Um, the Prius is green plus technology. And I fundamentally believe if you build something and ask people to buy it for the sole reason it's green, you're ultimately going to fail. So that's usually the, the best piece of advice we share. Adam, talk about green chemistry. I know this is, you know. You know Dangerous. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but specifically, uh, first of all, talk a little about what that means, green yeah. chemistry. Is that, is, that, is that a concept? Is it a, def a real hard definition? But also, What's the bigger potential that isn't being tapped by other companies around this? Yeah, uh, that's a great question. So there is a hard definition of green chemistry, and there's 12 principles, and you can Google it, and I'll let people do that on their own. But um, as it relates to our categories, for a long time, the green approach to cleaning products has just been to take out the nasty chemicals that have traditionally been in products. And there's obviously a lot of sacrifice in that. Um, the second approach has then been to replace things that traditionally came, came from petroleum sources or not as great sources with natural sources. And that, that helps, um, but there are also things like land use impacts that come into play when you start to do something like that. Um, what we're really doing and um, getting deeper and deeper into, and it's really paying off for us, is creating entirely new technologies. And these could be brand new molecules um, made in entirely new ways, and I think that's right, the... Let, let, let's let's yeah. soak it up for a minute. Yeah. Branded molecules. Brand, brand new. Brand new molecules. Brand new molecules. Okay. I brand the molecules. <laughs> yeah, we'll brand 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 the brand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't branded any of them yet. But, um, no, but brand new chemistries that are made in entirely new ways, and that's the real opportunity. And uh, we've, it's public knowledge, we've announced a couple of joint development agreements with a couple of businesses here in the Bay Area. To tell us about them. Uh, well, one example would be um, uh, Amaris, which is over in, um, in Emeryville. They do biosynthesis. So essentially, uh, just the way that yeast, when you feed it sugar to make alcohol in your wine. And I do. Um, yeah, exactly, <laughs> many do. Um, you can make, you can feed sugar to yeast 
uh, special yeast and make it spit out things that we can turn into stuff we put in these products. And that's totally cool because it allows us to make all new chemistries that are way higher performance. And these are things that are made on bench tops. So there's no land use impact aside from the sugar that you feed to it, which is far less than it otherwise would be. And it's you know, obviously a renewable and, and non-petroleum source. So um, you know, from a sustainability side, it's great. But what's even cooler about it is the technology that we can bring to the products. And actually, we're, starting, we're already using some of these in this product and that product. So um, that's, that's the real like, next frontier of green chemistry that'll just massively change the um, ingredients we make, not just these products out of, but all sorts of different industrial products. Thank you.